Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. In this video here, I'll be doing another bench test, and this is a brand new Dell All-in-One, and I'd like to share this uh, bench bench test result with you, so you can decide if it's a good buy, if you're gonna use it for gaming, if you're just gonna use it for daily use to check email, doing some sort of basic word documents, uh, things like that. So let's go ahead and share and run the bench test and talk about the performance on this new Dell all-in-one desktop. Alright, so this Dell here is Inspiron 5400 AIO, stands for all-in-one. The processor is 11 gig uh, sorry, is 11th generation Intel processor, i5. It runs on 2.4 gigahertz. This has the 8 gigabytes RAM and it runs on Windows 10 home version okay so um, oh yeah by the way this hard drive here is actually the um, the what do you call it the 512 gigabyte M.2 SSD drive so it runs on a solid state drive 512 gigabytes um, this is the M.2 drive all right so let's go ahead and take a look at this 3d benchmark I'll be running this 3d benchmark for the uh, result so again just a briefly says Windows 10 64 bit it has 8 gigabytes and 488 gigabyte of storage the processor is Intel 11 gen i5 2400 megahertz and this graphics card here is a built-in Intel graphics card. It doesn't have dedicated graphics card. Uh, this is the built-in that comes with the computer on its own. Alright, I'll be running a bench test and in this video here um, I'll probably keep myself silent and let you watch through the entire benchmark and when the result comes back in the, the sh to show the score and we can go, go through the score and the numbers all together. Um, so while this thing is loading, let me talk about I do have a few different um, computers that I run the benchmark on. Uh, you can check it out. It is in the description. Uh, sorry, it is in the channel. Uh, just look it up for Uber Geeks benchmark, and you should be able to find a few other computers that I benchmark with. This is the only benchmark test I use. Um, some of the comments they asked me to use a different benchmark and also to check the CPU temperature. Um, I think on the next video I'll probably do that but for this video here uh, this is what I got and hopefully it's something that you look for and hopefully something that I can share with you alright so right now it's doing the uh, benchmark as you can see it is very sluggish the graphics card is very um, it doesn't move very smooth very jaggy sluggish so definitely this is not good for gaming if you're gonna use it for gaming I highly not recommend you to use on uh, this Dell all-in-one by the way this Dell here is a 24 inch um, and I just newly got it right off the box everything looks uh, I mean the look of it is good the bezel is very thin even on the side here I'm not sure if you can see the side here is very thin uh, pretty much you don't see any chin underneath the chin is actually the speaker uh, but other than that it's fully almost like um, bezel less monitor I think this computer is good if you're gonna use it for like stay at home just to check email go on social media do some sort of uh, uh, Microsoft Office like Word spreadsheet documents I think this is more than enough if you are college student or maybe if you are uh, stay home you know just needed a computer to keep yourself up to date uh, I think this is a perfect computer 
I bought this computer right about $800 I would say um, it doesn't come with Microsoft Office it only gives you a free version trial uh, same as the antivirus program is a McAfee it's a free trial I think it's up to 30 days and it'll ask you to buy them but other than that I think it's a, like a stay home day daily use is fine for about $800 uh, not much I can ask for for that price but if you're gonna use it for gaming probably not a good idea um, yeah so if you're gonna use it for work like the AutoCAD um, 3D design probably is not a good idea because it the 3D design of AutoCAD uses a lot of graphics power and like I said this computer does not come with a graphics card and you're not able to add graphics card into it so this motherboard here is already pre-built it doesn't come with it and you can't add graphics card to it the only thing you can add is the RAM by upgrading 8 gigabytes maybe up to 16 or 12 uh, that's pretty much the best you can do and the CPU for the Intel i5 you can upgrade to i7 or i9 uh, it's already pre-built onto the motherboard okay so um, this is a third benchmark test and it is still running I have nothing else to talk about about this computer I'm trying to think about something to keep you guys entertained uh, while I keep talking oh yeah so in the next video what I'll do um, on this Dell computer I will be taking apart so I'll do a video on the teardown process step by step on how you can um, take it apart maybe to change the motherboard or maybe add more RAMs to it uh, maybe change the speaker or your LCD screen hopefully I can do a, a complete tear down uh, like I said I haven't get a chance to look at the computer itself it's just right off the box and um, and the next video I'll be doing I'll, I'll kind of have it uh, check it out on the on the link in the description I will have that maybe um, to you know to direct you on how how the teardown is gonna be but I'll I'll, I'll do one video for a teardown on this on this um, this Dell here so at least you get to see uh, on how to repair it if you broke your screen or um, you know if the if the RAM is, is is damaged or if you want to upgrade the RAM so go ahead and check out that video um, I haven't do it I haven't filmed it yet so I do not have the link but I'll try to put the link afterwards if, if I have the video done all right so let's see uh, what else to talk about oh yeah it does come with the uh, um, the webcam it's a built-in webcam you can actually slide in and out it's actually on the top here uh, on, on top of the screen you can slide in and out of the uh, the webcam uh, give you a little bit privacy if you're done using it um, I know that nowadays everyone use zoom or Skype or Microsoft team to communicate uh, because of this pandemic uh, which is a good thing to have everything pre-built is built in um, you don't have to buy you know extra webcam or the USB external webcam so the microphone is built in the camera is there I'm not sure how good the quality is but I would assume that nowadays or the webcam it should be running on 720p um, I don't think you need to have a good quality webcam um, if you have a good camera and you're doing the zoom which is good for them not good for you meaning that the um, the people who join the meeting are able to see you very clear very nice um, but who knows you sometimes you don't you do not want to let them see your face uh, all the pimples or whatever I'm just bad jokes bad jokes okay so here's the result um, 770 for the uh, the score which is very low 
uh, the graphics card is not even reach a thousand it's only 683 um, but the CPU processing is 2700 which is okay uh, for daily use uh, I think it's more than okay for daily use uh, but not definitely not for um, extreme use like work for AutoCAD or, um, or gaming now if you're gonna use it for um, for what do you call that the like Photoshop or Lightroom a small little uh, here and there for the uh, um, for editing pictures and video I think it's okay if you don't mind the sluggish or if you don't mind the waiting time for rendering but other than that uh, this is not really commercial use or, or gaming use uh, just 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 so you know okay so the result is here as you can see and uh, this is the Dell computer and uh, if you have any question just comment below if you feel like this video helps you to decide what you um, before you buy this computer if it helps you to decide whether this is a good fit for you just comment below let me know did you buy this computer or did you buy a different computer I'd like to hear from you so uh, please give me a like subscribe and until next time please take care